Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. It's 39 degrees in the middle of April and it's trying to snow here in California and I, the sun's not up yet. It's pretty early. Want to discuss setting of miking and ALC and compression on the typical transceiver. Here's the procedure that I use for setting miking and I've used it for many years and I'd highly recommend you give it a try. Uh, I do use a compressor and I use it all the time and I recommend that you do that too but for setting the mic gain turn the compressor off put the meter on the transceiver into the ALC position you should be transmitting into a, a good antenna with about a one and a half to one or less SWR uh, or a dummy load Turn the mic gain up with the meter in the ALC position until it indicates about one quarter scale to one half scale, never beyond one half. Speak in a normal voice level. Um, if you tend to yell, then set it with it yelling. I highly recommend you don't yell because it doesn't help any, but speak in a normal volume voice level. Set the mic gain so the ALC indicates one quarter to one half scale. On some words, it may indicate zero, and that's fine. Turn the compressor on, set it so, the, and switch the meter to the compression position. It may say uh, processor, it may say COMP. Adjust the um, uh, compression so that it, the meter indicates 5 dB for a stateside contact and maybe 10 dB for on occasional peaks for DX pileups, that kind of thing. But really never beyond 10 dB. When you start to get to 15 dB of processing, uh, it can sound really off. And I'll demonstrate that in the, uh, in the next video. For the rest of this video, let's look at a couple of instruction books, one from ICOM and one from Yesu, and see how they recommend that the ALC and compression be adjusted. Not going to talk about equalizers, um, not going to talk about uh, splatter at this point. We're solely focused in on distorted audio and what we can do to keep that from happening. So let's switch over to the instruction book and see what they say. Okay, so this is uh, the instruction book for the really popular ICOM 7300. Uh, it's one of the better in, uh, instruction manuals. They call this the basic manual, but there's a lot of detail in here. I think one of the neat things about the uh, 7300 is the front screen, uh, the LCD display. There's a ton of information there. See if I can zoom in on that. And uh, for example, it's got a pan adapter. It has its own uh, audio scope for transmit and receive, so you can look at the the waveform and the uh, frequency response. In this case, they're looking at signals that are maybe 200 hertz to I don't know 2.8 or so clock frequency, transmit indication, mode. Uh, that could be notch or the filter. Maybe that's the filter, sh uh, shifting the filter. Anyway, a ton of stuff in this instruction book is just so well written. I decided it would be a good one to use to see how uh, they recommend that the ALC be adjusted. So we're going to go to uh, section 310 which is the first step in setting up the um, mic gain. I should say it's really the first step in setting up the transmit audio. There's, we're going to do two steps. One is setting the ALC and two, uh, setting the compression. I've gone past where I wanted to get to. Um, here we are. All right. Adjusting the microphone gain. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. And again, this is one of the better instruction manuals. For a basic transceiver, there's just a ton of uh, information in this. Okay, adjust, adjusting the microphone gain. Adjust the microphone gain as described below. 
set the operating mode to we're going to say SSB push the multi function display touch mic gain and they're showing that in the picture transmit uh, the transmit indicator will light up red rotate the multi control to microphone gain in the SSB mode adjust until the meter swings to between 30 and 50 percent of the ALC scale and they're saying basically keep these little bars no further than half my recommendation would be yeah no further than half on an average probably at 25 percent on some words the, um, the you may have no bars indicating and that's that's fine uh, as long as the output is good um, always keep the ALC below 50 percent the uh, if if you run the mic gain up to the point where these bars are lit up all the way over to here full scale there's going to be some distortion and clipping of the waveform it's of the audio waveform which is going to produce harmonics in the pass band so there's going to be artifacts and uh, some distortion you want the ALC to be half scale or less and for most of the time uh, much less <clears throat> also take note that in this particular situation the SWR is about 1.4 to 1 um, and that can affect the ALC reading so when adjusting the mic gain the uh, SWR really should be in the neighborhood of preferably one and a half to one or less so uh, let's go back to what their recommendation is all right it says while speaking into the microphone at your normal voice level adjust the speech compressor to a level where the compressor meter indicates 10 to 20 db that's a lot of compression i'd recommend half that uh, what i do is try to keep it at 5 db for stateside contacts and for dx uh, maybe 10 but never 20 it's going to be it's going to sound terrible at 20. Um, here to show you what their meter looks like this is in the compression position and here's the compression line 0 db 5 db 10 db 15 20 and probably 25 to 30 up here uh, to keep it to i know what it says in the book here but i'm going to recommend that you keep it at 5 db for stateside contacts and that means occasionally the five will light up or the bars above five will light up but for the most part it's in this range and for some words there'll be no uh, compression indication um, so just keep it in this range for DX uh, up to 10 so you'll see these bars light up and ramp up to 10 but man never over 10 this in this case the compression is about 17 DB which is huge and I would suggest that if you do that the um, unless you know more about this than I do the uh, and maybe you've got one you can tell me about it um, 17 DB is a lot of compression all right, since we've looked at this, and uh, it again, um, in this book they talk about, in this instruction book or instruction manual, uh, to set the mic gain and compression first, turn off the compression, um, put the meter into the ALC position, talk into the microphone, it recommends two to four inches from the mic, um, talk it up until the ALC, adjust the mic gain until the ALC is roughly 30 to 50 percent and not above that. Then turn on the compressor. My recommendation is set it for about 5 dB of compression on voice peaks. Um, for DX you can crank it up to 10 but that it gets to be a bit aggressive at that point and beyond that it, it really starts to sound distorted. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Yaesu 950. And I'm doing this one for a reason. Uh, there's a video that's gotten about 50,000 views by a young man. And I think a lot of what he advises uh, operators of this transceiver to do is um, 
wrong. The um, ALC meter in this case is right here. Let me get a little closer. And the young man is holding a pencil and pointing to the ALC meter and recommending that the audio be talked up to a point where it goes to the end and when he transmits actually it's out here somewhere. Okay so here we are uh, in the SSB mode transmission section. It says adjust the microphone amplifier gain so mic gain to match the microphone and man is that true different microphones have different output even if it's the same model uh, it can have dramatically different output and match your voice level which is to say speak in a normal voice when you're transmitting try to always have the same voice level um, you need to kind of figure that out uh, yelling into the microphones not a good idea um, it will cause distortion uh, here it says press the meter so that it's in the ALC position close the PTT switch speak into the microphone in a normal voice level adjust the mic gain so that the meter is up to half scale deflection so here's the ALC scale um, it is just this highlighted part not beyond that and they're recommending that you keep it at 50% on voice peaks. Um, excellent advice. Again, adjust the mic gain and keep the voice peaks at about 50%. Uh, and by the way, that's with the um, compressor off. That's also into uh, an antenna that has an SWR of, I'd say, one and a half to one or so. Um, now on the next page, uh, they discuss that, and it's uh, it's the only manual I've seen where this this comes up. And here it is under advice: ALC meter deflection may be caused by excessive drive power, but also by reflected power detected by the uh, detected in the antenna system. If the impedance presented to the transceiver is different from 50 ohms, ALC meter action may be observed that is not related to proper setting of the mic gain. Therefore, we recommend that you make the mic gain knob adjustments into a dummy load or an antenna presenting an impedance very close to 50 ohms. Um, okay, let's reword this just a bit because it is kind of awkward. Uh, the ALC meter may indicate incorrectly if the SWR is greater than two to one and it will so what they're saying here is adjust the mic gain into a 50 ohm impedance could be a dummy load could be an antenna that's properly matched um, and in, in fact they talk about dummy load here an antenna with an impedance of 50 ohms uh, and, it, and it doesn't say it here but again keep the voice at the same level try to get into the habit of having some level into the microphone, speaking level into the microphone that is uh, that is consistent. All right, that's their advice section, and I think that that's, um, that's excellent. Let's go down to set the compressor, and we're not going to talk about um, setting the um, uh, parametric equalizer at this point. Enhancing transmit signal quality using the speech processor in the SSB mode. And yes, it can enhance uh, the quality of the signal. The FT950 speech processor is designed to increase talk power by increasing the average power output via a sophisticated compression technique and adjusting the audio quality um, using the equalizer. We'll not do the second part of that. Here's the equalizers 1, 2, and 3. We're just going to talk about setting the uh, ALC level uh, and mic gain. Uh, sorry, and setting the compression level. So they start up by going back to um, page 56 to set the, uh, the mic gain. Then put the meter into the compression position. Press the processor button repeatedly until the processor part comes on. 
press the PTT switch on the microphone and speak into the microphone in a normal voice level. Confirm that the compression level is within 5 to 10 dB. Um, here's the compression indicator. Uh, here's 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB. And I think the advice is very good. Uh, 5 dB is good for stateside, local contacts, 10 dB for DX. So, um, again, speaking in, in a normal voice level, it should indicate no more than 5 dB for DX, no more than 10 dB. Um, and if you do that, the transmitted audio is really pretty clean. It improves intelligibility. It brings up the average. Um, uh, it you'll get comments from guys who are listening to you telling you you sound good. So there you have it. Um, we looked at two instruction manuals, uh, Yesu and uh, ICOM, both very good. Um, the steps for adjusting the mic gain are simple but often confused. So um, turn off the compressor. Make sure you're transmitting into a dummy load or uh, an, an antenna that presents an SWR of something like one and a half to one. Adjust the mic gain while speaking in a normal voice level uh, using the mic gain control so that the ALC meter indicates about 50% of the ALC zone. That's with the compressor off. Then turn on the compressor, put the meter into the compression or process position. Talk it up to about 5 dB um, by adjusting the compressor control. 10 dB max for, uh, for DX and, and really never more than 10. Um, and if you've got a halfway decent microphone, it's going to sound really good. Uh, you'll be more easily understood. We didn't talk about equalizers. I'm a big believer in having a lot of highs and very few lows, but we'll leave that for another time. So that's my discussion of how to set mic gain. It seems pretty easy. You just turn the mic gain control, but actually it's a little bit more involved. And when you turn on the compressor, it's a whole lot more involved. And when you get to the equalizer, then um, you, can <laughs> you can make it sound really good or really bad. And there's some examples of that on all the handbands. Just, uh, just tune around, uh, especially during contests. Or, or listen to a pilot calling a de-expedition as is going on right now. I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. Um, if you have a comment or another way to adjust mic gain, uh, post that below. Uh, you may have an idea that's a whole lot better than mine, and I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. Thanks for watching. 7.3, see you the next time. And there's going to be several videos along this line. Uh, this is just one of several, uh, including... Um, setting the mic gain and why the meter doesn't quite indicate um, where the voice peaks are. We're going to do that using a light bulb. Seriously, a light bulb. All right, 7-3. See you next time.